What is going on, guys? DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about... Oh, lads. <laughs> oh, lads. I'm just... I'm talking about the agendas right now for the Rush 3 set. I thought, you know what, lads? You're going to be able to combo some. And look, look, look. I don't... It's not the end of the world for me because... Like, I'm doing a building a squad from scratch. I'm like four games into domination. And you're going to be seeing like... Probably today, maybe. You're going to be seeing like a Dean Wade gameplay. Um, you're going to be maybe seeing a Denny Avdia gameplay. But highly, highly unlikely. And I'm not going to lie. I have a PlayStation Portal coming tomorrow. I managed to get a PlayStation portal ready for tomorrow just so that I can grind this. Um, because it is going to be grim starting a squad from scratch and having to complete this whole thing. So I'm getting ready. What the is today? Like today is Tuesday. And by Thursday, I've got to have all of a domination completed. So it's not too bad. But let's take a look at this. I scored 50. It was a player in domination 15 times. If this said five times, it wouldn't be that bad. It would be annoying, but it wouldn't be that bad. Fifteen times. Like, that is literally longer than it took to get um, the Jaron Jackson Jr., which was... Not Jaron Jackson Jr. Jerry Stackhouse, which was 15 dunks, which was crazy. That was crazy long. Win 15 multiplayer games to three or more rush cards. Like, this is really easy, by the way. Like, this is super easy. But you can't combo it with anything. 40 steals are multiple games. Easy. I'm telling you guys, easy. You get somebody with Gogol of Heck. You get freaking gold one uh, Grand Theft Alvarado. You're doing this. This one's easy. Like, this is 15 wins. So if you win, let's just say you win at a 50% rate. This is going to take about three hours. The problem is that this is literally... This is seven hours of playing. <laughs> seven hours and at least you're gonna get 40 steals more than likely over this make 50 layups with shooting guards over multiple multiplayer games 50 layups like that's not terrible but it's not easy because every time you go for a layup you're getting swatted off the board this isn't that easy to do and like if you're willing to lose every game it can be easy but like still not easy. 50 rebounds with Heat players. Cool. Just put a Heat player in a center while going for this. You're going to get it naturally. One triple-double with a Sixers player in a game. That's actually kind of easy. That is really, really easy. Like, if you're looking for 50 points with these players, 10 points is easy. 10 rebounds is easy. Get a Sixers center and then just pass the ball to Kyle Korver 10 times. So, like, this is super, super easy. You can do that in your first domination game. You can do that in other domination. You can not even domination games. You can do that in other game modes. You can do that in the 60-point triple threat challenges really, really easily. You can get your 10 boards, 10 points, 10 assists really easily in that. So, triple double's not bad at all. I will say, that is a... Um, that's genuinely not a bad... Um, like, thing to get at all. Like, it's... It could be worse. It could be... Um, a lot worse so these two are easy they're very easy but you need to play multiple domination games like 50 rebounds of heat players you're gonna take at least three domination games to get him at least this one is like 20 minutes at least michael carter williams is really easy to get even though he's not that good and the 50 layups over multiplayer games like that's doable like that is doable but it's not brilliant the only thing is like can you combo up you can combo up these like, if you go and... If one of your guys is Grady... Like probably the easiest one to get is still Grady. So, you get him. That's a shooting guard. I think what other easy ones... 100 fast break points to Sixers players is very easy to get as well. So, let's just say you get Grady. You get Markel Fultz. Both of those guys count as shooting guards. And you run the two of them. And you probably need a big. You probably need an equivalent of a big. This isn't even that easy. I'm trying to get the start off. How long... How difficult is it to start off? And you don't want to use cycling either. So let's just say Nuggets Point in the paint is probably the next easiest one to do. Like this is going to take about five games, I'd say. Um, so about a half an hour for this maybe, maybe 40 minutes. 
40 minutes, 20 minutes, it's been an hour. And then the Sixers fast break points. You can honestly combo up this. And you, Sixers fast break points, 100 is a lot easier than 100 points in the paint because you just get stops in clutch time. Launch the ball out to a Sixers player and just chuck a three like a Doug Collins or something. Um, so to get these three, which is a decent enough team, it's going to take you just to get the three quickest rush players. It's probably going to take you about an hour and a half. And then that only at least allows you to try combo of these two, maybe. If not, you can get him the counter shooting guard, the 50 lives or multi multi multiplayer, multiple multiplayer games. But if you can combo, you can combo these two. But this is gonna take you at least 10 hours. Like this and this, by the way, are 10 hours. You're not getting this in less, which is wild. Which is absolutely wild, like. The card sucks too. I'm sorry, these cards all suck. They genuinely suck. Like, I wish they were better. I wouldn't be that like opposed to this if the cards didn't suck. Like, Grange is all right. And I genuinely mean that he's okay. But like this one here, this takes like 40 minutes to get him. 50 multiplayer games using three or more Lakers players. Honestly, easier than Rush players because you don't need to get the Rush players to start off. But this can be kind of tricky. Um, 100 fast rate points for Sixers players, like a half an hour. This is difficult. This is like 40 minutes. And this is like 20 minutes. So like you can get all of, you can get everything other than 100 three-point Jazz players and 15 multiplayer wins done in two hours. And then when you're on these ones, this is about three hours. And this one, you can actually do this in an hour if your opponent just lets you shoot the threes with Jazz players, which a lot of them do tend to do as long as you give them the win. Um, if you're willing to take losses, at least 50% of your opponents will let you shoot if you get, leave them open. Because um, you're getting you're both getting in and out of there quickly. So, look, at the same time, you're, um, you're doing that. Is there any other Jazz Rush players, I guess? Are there any Jazz Rush players here that you can combo? There's not, so you can't even combo. So, like, this is... If you win every single game of multiplayer, this is going to take you about five and a half six hours if you go 15 for 15 and if you go 15 for 15 on this one it's still it's still almost 10 hours like it's still not even almost 10 hours it's still like nine hours so it's it's around 10 hours if you're losing the odd game actually no sorry because you need three rush players to do this no, you can obviously, you can, you can do this one last, I guess. You can do these two last. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is it worth doing? I doubt it. I really doubt it. I, I genuinely am like, it's, it's not worth it. The only reason why you could argue that this is worth it is if you're going to do domination anyway. If you're going to complete domination anyway, quickly, yeah, it's worth it. Because you're getting your Iverson. And once you finish domination, you've done this, you've done this, you've done this, and you can very easily do this. So that just leaves you, if you're doing domination anyway, with 15 multiplayer wins, which is easy, and then 50 layups of shooting guys. So if you're going to do domination anyway, do this. It's hard to combo this and this, though, which is going to be very, very annoying because... That's what I gotta do by Thursday. <laughs> Combo this and this and finish a domination. It's gonna be a long, long week for me. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, oh, I, I genuinely can't, I can't see a reason why unless you're completing domination anyway, um, there's a point in even trying this. Like, like, unless you're completing domination already. Like, there's genuinely no point. No point in doing these challenges. Like, if this had said 15 multiplayer wins with, um, not even with rush players, if it said with breakout players, 
so that you could use domination cards or you could just use normal breakout players it'd be something but like nah it's it's not worth it lads it's really not worth it so anyway yeah that is the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe